Hi everyone, it's Alex from QST and you join us today on vlog number one of a series of twin turboing our R8 V10 Plus. So in today's video, which is going to be episode one, uh, we're going to be getting the car around the back, unboxing the turbo kit, show you all the turbo kit and go through exactly what is in the kit. And from there, we're then going to do videos installing the kit, tuning the car, and then road testing the car, and then some reaction videos as well. So it's going to be super exciting. Um, Try and get a little bit of a cold start for you now with the quick sewer exhaust. So yeah, pretty loud. Let's get the car around the back and get unboxing. So, I'm sure most of you have seen it by now, but um, here it is the car in question. It's my 2017 R8 V10 Plus, finished in Suzuka Grey. Uh, it's currently a stock car, uh, only upgrades with the Volsteiner Aero Kit, bottom wheels, KW Haas suspension. Um, and the quick seal exhaust, which is obviously coming off now for the twin turbo kit. Um, but yeah, here's the car in question. Just thought I'd show the car quickly, um, and then we will go and grab the turbo kit. So here you have it. This is what turns up when you order an AMS Alpha 10 twin turbo kit. We've got the six boxes here from AMS with the nice branding on. So let's rip these boxes open and show you what you want to see, which is two great big Garrett turbos, which are in these two boxes here. So enough of that, let's get in there. So box number one open, most important box open obviously for the turbo kit is the turbos. So these are the twin Garrett GTX series, GTX 35 turbochargers. Uh, absolutely incredible turbos. So these turbos are actually capable of over 1600 wheel horsepower. Um, so on my setup with the Alpha 10 is gonna be a super, super efficient setup. Yeah, big old turbos. So yeah, that is box number one opened up of the kit. Um, so we're now gonna open up all the, all the other boxes, sorry. And once all the other boxes are opened, we'll then do a little rundown on what is in the whole kit. But yeah, there are the turbos going on the R8, the Garrett GTX 35s. Another box opened, and here we've got the intercoolers with the Garrett cores in there. So we've got down there. These exchanges. exchanges down there. We should get mounted behind the front grills in there. Um, yeah, look at the quality of this kit is absolutely incredible. Um, so it's all satin black, nice subtle alpha logo on there. Um, so it's a very OEM looking kit. Yeah, so that was box number three. But yeah, so it comes with an exhaust which exits in the original location, which is pretty neat. So what we got in there, sorry, the air, the air filters. Nicely made, aren't they, as well? Yeah, nothing crazy exciting in this box. So then, that is the whole of the AMS Alpha 10 kit unpackaged. Um, super, super exciting. Um, obviously, we talked about this box here, which has just got all the hardware bits, the boost controllers in there, just all the little ancillaries, pipe work, gaskets, um, that's all in there, and of course, the stickers, most important part of the whole kit. Uh, so we've got the pipe work, we've got the heat exchangers, which we talked about behind the front grills there, behind these nice carbon fiber grills. Um, then got the intercoolers, of course the Garrett cores. Big old Garrett GTX turbos. Um, the exhaust system, which is all uh, coated. So obviously keep uh, engine bay temperatures as low as possible. All the adapters, which go off the factory. Catalytic converters, uh, headers onto the exhaust system. You've got the outlet pipes. Um, so here will be the left-hand one, um, which then makes into the OE bumper template for the exhaust, a nice and OEM. And we've got the diverter valves and wastegates here, all genuine tile parts on here. So super, super high quality. Uh, so like tiles use them like literally like all the fastest cars in the world use these wastegates. Super common on these twin turbo kits as well. Uh, so really high quality hardware. You see the wastegates here and the blower valve. They're really nice anodized in the red. Match the uh, Foster and Center capture really nicely as well. But yeah, so this is the first video. Obviously that is the kit on the floor there. It's pretty mad actually seeing it all laid out there. So a lot of people have asked us why we went with the AMS kit, uh, and in particular the Alpha 10 kit. So AMS have been about for years and years, tuning some of the world's fastest GTRs, 
Um, for quite a long time I've been doing this V10 platforms on the R8 and the Huracans. Uh, recently at TX2K as well, uh, they got the quarter mile record for the world's quickest Huracan as well. So yeah, they literally build really quick cars. The customer uh, support is incredible. It's a massive, massive company. Um, the support in terms of the kit like, is, in my opinion, the most complete kit on the market. Uh, they do the tuning for the factory ECU and TCU as well and it's just a complete turnkey solution and I think what they do works well with what we do as well so they're offering us a perfect product, we can then fit it uh, with our experienced technicians here, get the car mapped, data log dialed in uh, and our plan for this car is go and do a load of race events with it as well. Obviously once all the kit's on there now, um, so our plan is in two or three weeks max get the kit on the car, get it all dialed in Get some stickier rear tyres on it um, and get some more content for you guys showing the car. So another thing to mention as well is we were actually the first people in the UK. Um, what was it, about 10 years ago now? That's, yeah, 2012 we did two Gen 1 R8 V10 twin turbo kits with the Hefner kit. Um, was it one coupe, white coupe and a yellow roadster? Yeah, that was like that was way before yeah, anyone way was before doing us, anything yeah. like this. And we've got that supercharged one behind as well. So we've been doing stuff like this for yeah, years doing, now. Yeah. There's some conversions, conversion, a lot of cars, but obviously yeah, twin turbos on the R8 group. Yeah, one of the first, not the first, have to get and make an end of eight, 58, 60 horsepower. I mean, yeah, we've been we've been doing all sorts of crazy projects like this. I mean, well like over the last like 25 years, amount of engine swaps and stuff you've done, big conversions. Yeah, this car's gonna be a monster. Absolute monster. Supercharger RS5 as well. This one is a 2.3 litre. There's a Whipple kit on it. Um, so we've been doing these sort of conversions for years now, adding forced induction to naturally aspirated cars. Um, so yeah, really excited to now get started on this later generation V10. Um, starting off with our R8 V10 Plus. I'm sure we'll be moving on to lots and lots of Lamborghinis afterwards as well. Um, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed this first little video. Um, if it wasn't great, we're gonna get better. It's all quite new to us, this sort of vlogging stuff. Um, so yeah, you guys aren't gonna wanna uh, miss out on this. So yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll be updating you with the rest very, very shortly.